Hi everyone, I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. I am a soul therapist and intuitive that connects with angelic energy. This is your weekly reading where we talk all about the collective energy, the energy that impacts each and every one of us and what you need to know about it, how you can make the most of it. This is kind of like your energy weather report so you know what to expect so that you have a sense of what it is that you're feeling now and how you can use this energy so that you can have a really magical fantastic week no matter what the energy is so i'm curious how you guys are feeling in this energy it's a little hard to pin it down for me to be honest with you because there's so much happening there's so many moving parts to it it's kind of uh, <laughs> to use words to describe it, swirly and confusing and amazing at the same time. There's just a lot that's happening. I called my video a few weeks ago now. Yeah, Barbara's saying confused. Yeah, it is a confusing energy. I called my, my video a few weeks ago, the universe is shuffling the deck because this, that's very much the energy that I feel. I still feel us here in this energy where it's like there's so much that's happening behind the scenes. There's so much reorganization that's happening, trying to get us set on our best path to be connected with the best people that we're meant to be connected with, to connect us to the best opportunities for us. And so there's a lot of movement. There's a lot of things happening. But that can feel really confusing because I think that on an intuitive level, we're feeling this sense of expansion and that things are happening for us. I keep saying like, this is such a powerful time of divine timing. Some of these things that we've been waiting on for so long are finally starting to happen. But we're feeling that intuitively and we may or may not be seeing that in a concrete way or we might be watching these things manifest and develop for us in surprising ways in ways that are unexpected in ways that are different from how we expected them to go and that can feel confusing as well or it might feel confusing in that like how is this thing that's happening to me happening for me how is this happening for my greatest good so there may be some confusion around that so i definitely do feel like there's confusion i have to look i i've been it's been a very busy day for me but i haven't had the chance to look for it but i know that there has to be something going on feels like with the Schumann resonance today. If you guys are familiar at all with that, that's like the Earth's frequency. There's definitely a lot happening that is throwing us off, making us feel a little bit off, making us feel like we're all over the place. I think here in this energy, hi Zara, uh, that we are really needing to tune in with ourselves because I, I, I feel like more than ever, we're all experiencing this a bit differently. I think that a lot of us are feeling very stuck in a lot of ways, but also like a lot of things are moving forward in a lot of ways. And it's going to be more important now than ever for us to just be tuning in with ourselves. What do I need? What's best for me? Really making sure that we're making those decisions from our intuition, from that place of what is going to be filling my cup, what is going to support me. Because when we fill our cup, when we are feeling supported, we're that much more easily able to support other people. I know some of you, so many of you are empaths and light workers, and you just, we have this tendency to put other people ahead of ourselves, but there's this call to take that time to just ask, what am I needing right now? And what's gonna be best for me? I know that's a really simple idea, but it feels really important right now. Right now, There's definitely, you know what it feels like to me is like, like a snow globe when you shake it up, right? I feel like there's a lot being shaken up. And, and so I'll see that happen when I'm going to work on somebody's energy field because that's being stirred up so that things can be cleared out, so that things can be moved around. And I think like, when our lives get shaken up, when our energy get, energy gets shaken up, when our experience, even our clarity of mind gets shaken up, it allows for what needs to clear to clear, what needs to stay to stay, what needs to happen to happen. And it's almost like we're being confused so that we get out of our own way. So what I mean by that is 
we can get in our own way in terms of having this very defined sense of this is the way that it has to be, this is the way that it has to go, and this is the only way that it has to go. But life is going to call for us to flow, to flex, to adjust, and to be open to God's plan for us, the plan that is greater for us. And that's not always going to make sense, right? We have to kind of roll with the punches right now. We have to let ourselves flex and flow and move and adjust. And so this confusion is really meant to throw us off our game a little bit so that we can get out of our own way. It is for us to remove these blockages. I hope that makes sense. Please comment below if that's making sense because that can be kind of a, a difficult concept to wrap our minds around. The good news is I am feeling like this week we're going to start to have a little bit more clarity. I think that we're going to start to connect with some answers. I think that we are going to be, one of the things that I heard when I was connecting with this is making decisions from a place of wisdom. And I think that we are going to be making decisions from a place of wisdom, but also that in the past we've made a decision, wise, wise decisions for ourselves, good decisions for ourselves. And I think that we're going to continue to see these things developing in our lives that support that, right? So seeds that you planted a long time ago starting to develop and happen. Okay, Sheila is saying, yes, that makes sense. Good, okay. I, I, I think that that's important. There's also this sense of renewal. I keep talking about renewal, but I keep feeling that here in this energy. And it's like, this energy of being able to take something old or something from the past, something that we've experienced before, and bring a new and a fresh energy into that, right? So this could be like an old idea that you had that you had completely forgotten about that's circling back around and you're like, why did I ever not follow through with that idea. That was a really great idea. Why did I never not do that? And now you're starting to take action on that, but you're getting new ideas that are supporting that in an even better way. Or uh, maybe even people in our lives that we are connected to at one time and these feel like things that kind of like got set to the side or didn't quite develop. So maybe, uh, you know, connections or people that we met, but we never quite developed into having a deeper level of connection with them or exploring what that connection can be. And there's this time now to be exploring that. I'm feeling that a little bit, or this could show up in the form of your work. Maybe there was a job that you didn't get that you're really disappointed about getting or uh, a, a, a type of work that you're thinking about doing, but you never quite took action on that, you're redirected. And now it's like we're being directed back in some way to exploring some of these, these things that our soul felt connected to at one time in our lives. And there's this sense of renewal with it, revisiting this energy and connecting with that so that we can now, now is the divine timing, right? I keep talking about divine timing coming up, that's been coming up in these readings for maybe like five weeks or so. I think that a lot of divine timing is happening. I think a lot of things that weren't, it wasn't the timing for them before, it is the timing for them now. But again, in this energy, you might still feel stuck or like things aren't progressing. And I think that we have to Give it some space and let it develop. I think what's happening, I call this video something like give us some room to breathe because that's really the sense that I get is that we need to be giving these things that we're waiting on, that we're wanting some room to breathe. I know in my own experience, there have been some things that I've been just like waiting on and I'm just like, can it just get here already, right? But what's happening, what had happened for me and what I'm finding is happening for a lot of people is that we're going into almost obsessive mode where we're thinking about it and we're overthinking it. And what's happening is we're actually blocking the timing of it. We're blocking that from happening. So if there's something that you're trying to make happen, you're trying to get to develop, yes, set your intentions, but then give us some room to breathe so that God, the universe can step in and build that according to the highest plan, but also so that we're not blocking with our resistance, with our, I always call it thirsty energy, with our thirsty energy, 
the very thing that we're trying to create. Give us some room to breathe, right? And I don't mean that you have to take a full step back, but just pull back on that a little bit. Trust and have faith that things are developing, things are happening, things are working in your favor. Everything is always working out for me. That's one of my favorite affirmations. And that affirmation will serve you well this week always, but will especially serve you well this week. I keep hearing allow the transformation, right? But we cannot be all up in uh, up in the mix of that, preventing that or trying to control it or trying to tell it what to do. Let the energy be what it's going to be. And so that doesn't mean that we're going to just sit on this and, and just do nothing and, uh, I don't know, like spend all of our time watching Netflix or something like that. It, it's not necessarily that, but it's giving it some room to breathe and then taking action as we feel called to take action, right? When you give it some room to breathe, then you're going to find that the inspired actions are going to start to come through. I also heard when I was connecting with this energy, whatever it is, is no match for God. So that's for somebody as well. You know, um, keep handing it up, keep surrendering it, keep allowing this to develop into this really beautiful thing. I'm getting this sense of, you know, I'm thinking about, um, you know, like even the way that we let wine breathe, right? And um, the way that we can wait on wine to develop for a long time as well. And, and this is really unfolding like fine wine. It truly is, but it's slow and steady, but also incredibly expansive in this energy as is. And I think there has to be this trust like, okay, I feel intuitively that this is an expansive energy, but I don't know that I'm seeing it concretely in my world. I want you to start to just look for these indications that this energy is expansive, that things are happening, that things are developing. This is where we work with these signs, these synchronicities that are showing up for us that are supporting this journey for us. How are you being shown that you're supported? How are you being shown that you're helped? It may not be developing exactly the way that you want it to, but can we trust in the bigger plan? So I hope that, that that all makes sense. That's a lot to throw at you guys this week, but there's a lot happening. There's a lot going on. And, you know, we're spiritual warriors. We're warriors of love. We can handle all of this. We've got this. I also feel like one thing I wrote down that I forgot to mention, there's such an integration right now of the lessons. And I, I really feel like this is also the confusion and the shakeups in our life is kind of allowing things to fall and land. And through that process, we're taking these lessons that we have been learning through the past several years, and now we're starting to integrate them. We're starting to apply them. We're starting to see like, oh yeah, I can handle this because I learned this in this situation. And so now I know what to do. Now I know what this is, or now I know what this means, right? We might not have understood what something meant or why we had to wait on something or why it didn't happen before. And now all of a sudden it makes sense. And it's just like, oh, okay. So this is unfolding in a way that feels so beautiful and so amazing. But I didn't understand that when I was frustrated with it before. Trust the process. There's this, I can't take that many cards. Let's try that again. <laughs> There's this process of alchemy that's happening this year. I keep saying this is the year of alchemy. There's this process of taking everything that we've learned, integrating those lessons, turning that into something really powerful. Where are you being called to utilize your experience, what you've learned, and to show up as a better version of yourself here in this week, in this month, in this year. I would love to hear that in the comments, like how that's happening for you guys if you feel called to share. I also want to mention while I'm shuffling, there is another fake version of me out there and some people have already given them their credit cards. I will never, ever contact you and ask you for your credit card information. If we have a session and we meet and uh, we do payment, that's a different thing, right? But I'm not, first of all, ever going to reach out to you and try to give you a reading or try to um, give you a free giveaway. I think that's the crap that they're doing now. Never. 
ever, you know, um, if you did a giveaway on my page, I'm going to just contact you and let you know. I'm not going to collect your payment information or anything like that. So these scammers are getting pretty good at looking pretty legit and just, just be mindful. And it's always okay for you to find the real me or to send me a text or something like that and just say, Hey, I just had a feeling about this and I wanted to make sure that this is legit because I don't want you guys to get scammed. It's not okay. We're going to pray for them because hopefully they will find their way, find a better use of their time and their energy and a better way to use their gifts and their skills that they've been given. Um, but hopefully they didn't get you guys. I think on the giveaway post on my Facebook is where that's happening. But I also maybe potentially see somebody trying to like give you guys readings and comments. I can't tell. It's hard for me to tell with this. But yeah, don't, um, if they, if they reach out to you and say, I'm feeling pulled to your energy and I want to give you a reading, it's bullshit. It's not real. So don't give them your money. All right, let's take a look at the card. So the first card that we have here. Yeah, this is such the vibe. Like, this is the theme. I really feel like right now, Nine of Pentacles. This is an incredibly empowered human being. This is an incredibly independent, supported person. And I think that we're on the brink, if not already seeing how supported we are by the universe how every prayer, every intention, every question that we have put out there is about to be answered, responded to, shown in the way that is for our highest and best good. And that's totally the energy that I get with this. I also feel like we're, we're really being called to just let the real us, the, our authentic selves shine through in all of this. Um, I think that part of this process is like stripping away the bullshit a little bit and letting us be ourselves. And you know what, quite frankly, I tend to be my most authentic self when I'm a little bit messy because my authentic self is a little bit messy. Anybody else have like a messy authentic self, right? Like that's who we are as human beings and that's okay. You know, it, it, and I, I find that these times in these energies have this way of just like taking down our armor and helping us to just be our vulnerable selves and take it or leave it. This is who I am. And that's so this energy that we're being called to step into. This is also, I mean, this is us feeling supported by the universe just overall, but I also feel like financially supported. I feel like some of the blocks that people have been experiencing uh, has been like slower moving money or something just moving really slowly. And I feel like this is an indication that that's moving, right? There's a little snail here. I don't, it's probably hard to see, but there's this tiny little snail. This is slow and steady energy, but it is happening. It is developing and it's bringing in all of the things that we're wanting to have create. And again, we have this four of swords. I keep talking about how this feels very retrograde like uh, in that it's still kind of slow. There's this call to go within. And I think that this to me is, this can be my self care card. And I was saying, I just really feel like we need to be giving extra attention to that and not worrying about where we're supposed to be or, or what we're supposed to be doing and making sure that if we're feeling that call to, to rest, because I think a lot of people are sick right now. I think like part of this purging and this clearing and this, uh, th this process is happening with our energy fields right now is some people are getting sick as a way to detox and clear and release as well. So just listen to your body, listen to yourself, listen to what you need and honor that have a really fun down day tomorrow with Christopher Stilson. A lot of you guys know him. I do videos with him and events with him. And uh, tomorrow is his birthday. So we're going to be spending the day together. And I'm really excited about that. So that's going to be my four of swords energy is just kind of honoring that. But I'm just noticing I'm moving a little bit slower this week. And some of you guys might be too. Or maybe you're feeling like this fire underneath your, your ass, you know, and, and you're just feeling this push to go and move and 
just make sure that that is moving you from a place of inspiration rather than from fear because those are two very different things. Knight of Cups. These are heart-centered offers coming into our experience. Something that this feels very connected to the past in some way. Something that we wanted in the past that we forgot about or that we moved away from or that we gave up on and now there's this circle back, this reconnection, this expression. And I feel like this is us connecting with our own hearts again. Oh wow, I forgot how fulfilling that was for me or I forgot how good that felt for me or I forgot how much I connected with that before. And that was purposeful, but now there's a time to revisit and re-explore. So there might be these offers. There might you might find that relationships or you know, things in your life are taking it to the next level in some way, or we're having these really beautiful, important conversations that are so heart-centered that help us to feel so loved and supported here in this world. Because the next card that we have here, more cups here, is the Ace of Cups. Beautiful new beginnings, beautiful heart-centered new beginnings. Lean in. I feel like I just need to say lean into this. Lean into what's coming in, what's wanting to happen. I feel like maybe some of the confusion too is like things are happening and we just kind of never expected they would actually happen, right? We've been waiting on divine timing for so long that we didn't know that they're going to happen. And now all of a sudden, like there are these offers, there are these things coming through. Know that what's flowing into your experience as long as that feels intuitively right for you is a gift, is a blessing, is being led by the universe, by God for us to, to live. And, and the Ace of Cups is also about filling our cups, making sure that we are honoring what we need to feel fulfilled. But I feel like so much is happening and developing and supporting us in feeling that fulfillment. That is definitely a priority here this week. And the Three of Cups. Man, I'm t so, all right. Some of you guys are waiting on like a deep connection of some kind because this is like a coming back together or a revisiting, a connection. This doesn't have to be romantic. This can be even a coming back together in a friendship, but there is like a celebration. And I think that relationships just overall look really good this week. How can we rejuvenate our relationships? How can we come back to this energy and make it new again, make it fresh again, make it feel open and vulnerable again? How can we be more open and vulnerable within our relationships? And how can we have more fun? How can we enjoy ourselves a little bit more? Are we taking ourselves too seriously? But this is also my indication that there are things happening this week and throughout the month of February that are worth celebrating, that you're going to be celebrating, that are going to feel really fulfilling. Definitely, if you're feeling that call to get out there and to connect more with people, I absolutely would do that. Uh, but also if you're feeling that call to rest and relax and tune in with yourself, honor that as well. I think that we have kind of a mix here with that energy. And then the last card that we have here is the King of Swords. Uh, clarity's coming. I think that some things are gonna make sense. I'm not saying your entire life is gonna make sense. I'm not saying even an entire situation is gonna make sense, but we're having these moments. We're in Aquarius season and I always feel like there are these beautiful ideas that come through during this time these bursts of inspiration, this deeper understanding, this clarity, this settling of the confusion, organizing the confusion so that it makes sense. And then with the King of Swords, this is about like taking action from these ideas. This is like my card of inspired action. So notice where you're feeling inspired, notice what ideas are coming through and take action on, on it. Because I think that, again, there's so much divine timing happening right now. This just might be your call to do that thing, to start that thing, to say that thing. I keep talking about how communication is so important right now. Say what you gotta say. Say it with an open heart, be vulnerable, but say what you have to say. And <clears throat> 
speak your truth, honor your truth, right? I like my throat is getting clogged up as I'm saying that. So where are you holding back from saying what needs to be said or doing what you need to do and communicating about that? So definitely following those inspired actions, following where you're inspired to speak, to communicate, or where you're feeling inspired to listen, to hear somebody out, to hear what they have to say to us as well, because I think that that's also happening very much so here in this energy. So I hope that those mes messages resonate with you. If they do, please like this video, heart this video, whatever you feel called to do, please comment below. If you feel like there's a friend who needs to hear these messages, I feel like these messages are pretty important right now and, and a lot of people are like just feeling really confused and off, share this with them. If you are watching this on my YouTube channel, which is where I always share this after I go live, subscribe to my YouTube channel because sometimes I share videos there that are different from that. And it also just helps to support the channel. It helps me to connect with your energy when I'm doing these readings so that they can be more accurate for the collective of the people who are watching these videos and connecting with these messages. I always love to hear from you guys, so please comment below. Thank you so much, and I will see you soon with another video. Take care.